right. You know the most that created the sun? Worship him. That's right. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob that made the moon, the stars, and everything in the earth, man, all the beasts and the you and understand. worship him. Come on. You understand, reader? Like that's right. Yeah, that's it on that. Worship him and him alone, man. Alright? Don't bow down to no cover stone, man. Alright? That's not the Lord, man. That's a rock. Can't do nothing for you. Don't bow down to that Christmas tree, man. Can't do nothing for you. Alright? Right. Um First Corinthians car, chapter seven, verse thirty one. You understand? Because our people don't really know what time of day it is, man. They don't really know what's going on, man. All our right. people are in deep sleep right now, man. And the philosophies of the heathens are around us, man. And the more they put around us, the more astray we go, and that's why they do it, man. It's all a conspiracy, man. All a conspiracy, and we need to change. We need to turn from our wicked ways. We need to overcome the fear of repentance, man. And we need right. to repent, man. You understand? Overcome your fear not to want to repent and repent, man. All right? And make a change in your life, man. And join in the eyes you became, man. All right, reader. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it, mm. for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right, so when you're in here, I ask if you can, you understand, you will use this world as not abusing it, man. Right. Not abusing it. You you know what not abusing it means? You won't abuse this world. Uh, let me tell you who abused this world today, man. Christians abuse this world today, man. Calm. LGBTQ, ISUP, all this alphabet, and then some, they mm. abuse this world, man. Right. You understand? They use this world as abusing it, man. They telling you can marry to your horse or your dog or your cat, whatever the hell they want to tell you you can marry. Uh, two men can marry, two women can marry. Uh, uh, you know, so much now. You don't even know what's taking place. Come what on. they pushing next now, pushing for next now is, is child uh, um, child pornography and all those things. Man. Pedophilia, man, that's it. Right. That's what they're trying to push now. Hard, by the way. You know what I mean? And so, what is it saying, man? Don't abuse it. Don't follow them. That's what it's saying, man. Don't you be in the world, but not of it. Use this world, but don't abuse it. Meaning, if you lie with another man, you're abusing yourself with mankind. You're abusing like they are, man. Right. Right? Don't do that. That's what the Lord is saying, man. Are you done? I'll sit on that. I'll sit on that for the shirt. Proverbs 26, verse 11. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 11. To 12. Come on. As a dog returneth to his vomit, mm. so a fool returneth to his folly. Right, so when you're in here in the ICP Cayman, and you're hearing the truth, and you're hearing the word of the Lord, and you return and go back out there to be like the heathens, man, and you want to go back and abuse this world, and or use this world as abusing it, guess what? You're a fool that returns to his folly like a dog returns to eat his own vomit, man. Right. You understand? You're like a dog returning to his own vomit. Come you on. go back and serve Christmas and Thanksgiving and all them wickedness that, that, that you know, uh, Easter, you understand? Uh, dressing up like goons and goblets. What's that one? Um, Halloween, oh, man. Right. You go and do that. You're using this world as abusing it, man. That means what? That's that last one, it's like you. Uh, as a dog returned to his vomit. You returning to your vomit like a dog returns to his vomit, man. And eating it again, read on. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? Mm. There is more hope of a fool than of him. There's more. If you're wise in your own understanding, man, you lean into your own understanding, there's more of a. Uh, there's more wisdom in a fool, man. God. You understand? There's more wisdom in a fool. Than, than someone that leans to their own understanding, man. So someone that's just naturally a fool, you understand? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17, verse 12. Bible for sure. Wisdom of Solomon. 17, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17, verse 12. For fear is nothing else but to be trained of the succours which reason offereth. Mm. Read that again, Bible for slowly. For fear mm. is nothing else but a betrayal of the succours which reason offereth. Fear is nothing else 
for a secure What's a betrayal? What's the lucky? Fear is nothing else but a betrayal. So you fearing is like a betrayal, man. Right. You understand? When you fear, it's like you're, betray you're betraying yourself, you're betraying your people, you're betraying the most high in Christ, man. You understand? When you fear, man. Because fear is going to make you do all kinds of wickedness, man. Fear is going to make you sell your brother out for 30 pieces of silver, man. Right. You understand? Fear is going to make you hate your brother, man. God. You understand? And be jealous of your brother, man. You know, that's what fear is going to do. Fear is going to make you join with the oppressors against your own people, man. Right. That's what fear is going to do. That's why this this uh, uh, studies today, so like you, you know what I mean. This uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's called overcoming the fear of repentance. Man. Fear is gonna make you not wanna change, man. Right. Because everybody likes you as the old you, and whatever evil you do, that's what they like, man. They don't mind that. But when you change and stop doing all those things, now they start to hate you. Right. So guess what? You fear them hating you. So what? You wanna stay like that? Nah, man. Nah, man, overcome your fear, man. All right, knock on these doors, man. You understand? Uh, read on. Uh, read on. Come on. So fear is nothing else but betraying of the succors which reason offers. Right. Snacky, do you want to explain that one? I think we're good. Uh, succors is a comfort. Mm. So fear is nothing else but betraying of the succors, the comfort mm -hmm. which reason offers. Right. So reason offers comfort, man. You understand? You reason with these scriptures. You explain these scriptures. You're reasoning with your brethren and your sisters about the scriptures, man. You offering secure. You offering comfort right. to your brothers and your sisters, man. You understand? You're gonna get the kingdom of heaven, but you got to work for it. Got to fight for it. You understand? And X, Y, and Z, man. God. And that's comfort, man. But fear, what? Fear is a betrayal. Fear is a betrayal, man. Fear will make you betray those brothers, make you sell them out. Right. Even you turning your back on them, man. Huh. You understand? Like, as a nation, we turn our back on the most. Uh, that was so detrimental, man. It's like spitting in his face, man. Right. The most I delivers us, delivered us out the hands of the enemies many, many times, man. And guess what we do? We went right back again and sinned again and did wickedly again and again and again. Right. And he keeps stretching out his hands after he punished your backside now. Don't get it twisted. Alright? The Lord's not a fool. He's going to punish you first for your wickedness. And that's the problem. Black, black, our people, black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you don't want to you don't want to uh, admit to your wickedness, man. You don't want to accept your wickedness, man. You don't want to accept that you've been doing wickedness and you need to change and, and repent. And that's the problem. Right. That is the problem right there, man. What have you got? So, uh, was that it? Yeah, that was it. Second uh, Timothy, chapter one, verse seven to nine. Second Timothy, chapter one, verse seven to nine, man. Because we got to change, man. It has to be time of change, man. You understand? And we got to fight for this change as well, man. We got to be strong. Excuse me. In this change, yeah. man. Be strong for this change, man. Go on. God. Book of Second Timothy, chapter one, verse five, uh, verse like seven to nine. God. For God had not given us the spirit of fear. There you go, man. Read that again, man. For God had not given us the spirit of fear. So when you hear these securing words, man, when you hear these comforting words, it makes your spirit rise up. You you want to stand up. Right. Because what does Christianity do, man? Christianity beats your spirit down. God loves everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah, love the Lord and you know what? If you believe in Christ, you're saved. Hallelujah. Right? Nah yeah. man, you got to fight for it, man. That's right. And guess what? You got to fight every single nation on this planet that's against the children of Israel. Man. God. Understand that. Against the twelve tribes, there's, there's all these nations that's against the twelve tribes, we got to stand up and fight against the wickedness. Spiritual warfare, mind you. Right? So spiritual warfare right now. So we got to fight the lies they've been drumming in our minds, man. Right. All what we soaked up as a child, as youngsters, man. We got to fight those now, because they've been demons that's been putting on us, man. And we we didn't understand that. 
and now we've got to fight against those those things, man. Some of us end up doing what the oppressors do, man, to our own people and so on and so forth, man, to ourselves even. You understand? And we got to repent and, and and change those things, man. Whatever they may be, every man's got his own sins, man. You understand? We got to change that, man. Read on. Well, God had not given us the spirit of fear. Most I did not give us the spirit of fear, reader. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. Power and love and a sound mind. We ain't even supposed to be mad people. We walking around mad like hell, man, right now. You know why? We reject the Lord, man. Oh. We reject the Lord. The Lord has put the spirit. Of, uh, what's, that, what's the Lord say? Uh, they shall grow up at noonday, uh, but and thou shall be mad, can't for the sight. I'm just paraphrasing. Thou shall be mad for the sight of thine eyes, man. You're gonna be mad for what you see and what you can't get it. And even if you you get some way to get it, guess what? You have to swing off a pole to get it. You're still you're gonna go home and cry because of the evil you've done to yourself. All those things is gonna happen, man. You selling drugs. To, to, to feed your children, so you say, right? And what do you think they're doing? Your child is going to grow up and sell the drugs too, and you can't tell them not to. Why? Because you've been doing it. Right. And they're looking at you as a guidance for them. So when they reach a certain age and you say, well, I did it for you, well, guess what, man? It's going to return on your own son. And guess what? he probably end up taking it after that, man. Get so far where they, 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 they smack heads are coming to him and go, Yeah, is that the good shit? And he's like, Yeah, he's like, You sure you that's the good shit? I'm like, Yeah, I taste it in front of you. <laughs> like, yo, man's tasting his own supply now until next thing he's the friggin' junkie. Listen, the Lord will do those things to you if you don't repent, man. You need to change, man. And your daughters will turn into whores. Why? Because you, you're refusing the word of the Lord, man. And you think it's a joke. Nah, man. You can't play with the Lord, man. Read on. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. See in the ICPK, we're not we're not ashamed of these words, man. Right. We're not ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, you understand? We're not ashamed of that. When we go out and teach this by the highways and byways, we ain't ashamed, man. Correct. You understand? Because this this is this is more worth more than gold, man. You understand? Not rubies and all them precious stones and whatever else, man. And and that's what they are, stones. Look at them like that and you'll get the understanding, man. Read on. Not of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. So like you read that again, be partaker. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. There you go, man. It says be partakers of the afflictions. Why people are going to hate you, man? Just understand that before you even come in this truth, man. Right. People are going to hate you for being, uh, be partakers of the affliction, man. If you're not afflicted, you can't be in the truth, man. And that's the bottom line, Come really on. and truly. Because why? The world loves its own. If you want to be a reveler, man, the world's going to love you, man. Right. You understand? Because pedophiles are getting away with murder. <laughs> understand that, man. Pedophiles today are getting away with murder, man. They will give a pedophile more time than a drug dealer, man. Salakia, Salakia. Let, did I just, I just twisted that. Salakia. They will give a drug dealer, man. More time than a, than a, than a, than a, than a child molester, man, than a pedophile, man, than a rapist, man. Right. That's what they will do. That's how wicked they are, man. Why? Because they, they, that's a pedophile that's going to give you your judge, that's going to judge the, the, the situation, man. God. A pedophile is judging the situation, and that's how you know how they're giving a, a less time or a lighter sentence. He's a pedophile that gets away with it because he's a higher, he's higher up. He runs the system. That's the oppressor back in the days that used to go through the slaves and you know rape, rob, and murder them, man. And he gets away with it. So guess what? He give, he give that other peder, he give that other pedophile uh, a lesser, a lighter sentence because that's what he is, man. Read on. Uh, who has saved us and called us within holy calling? Just read that from that line before that's lucky. But be thou partaker of the mm. afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Be partakers of the afflictions according to the power of the Most High. I know that the kingdom is ours. Go and read on. Who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling. Called us for the kingdom of heaven, man. Read. With not a, a, not with, like with a holy calling, separate calling, right? It's not for everybody. Read on. Not according to our works, mm. but according to his own purpose and grace. Not according to our works, like we didn't do nothing to get it, but according to what? His own purpose and grace. According to his 
purpose and his grace, the amount of grace he's got for us, man. Right. Right? And his, for his purpose, you understand? Not for our own purpose. When, when we go out by the highways and byways and cry aloud, man, it's not for our own purpose, man. Right. But he called us for his purpose and grace, man. And he's oh. given us grace to get right. You understand? Read on. Which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. He's given us through Christ down on the cross. You understand? That's how we got it back. Because we should really not be here now. We should be. Uh, 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 we should have perished off the face of the earth, man. Cool. Right? But through Christ coming and dying on the cross, guess what? We get that kingdom back. We get that opportunity. We get that grace period. You understand? To get it right again. So we can get the kingdom and read on. That's, uh, that's it on that. Come on. So now. Uh, what, what did you just have? Yeah. That was Timothy, right? So now, Numbers chapter 4. It's like, you get me. First John chapter 14, verse 17 to 18. Baba Kisha. Right? First John 17. Uh, to 18. Okay. The book of 1st John, uh, <coughs> is it chapter 4? Okay. Verse 14. 4 verse 17 to 18. Okay. Okay. Right. Herein is our love made perfect. This is how our love is made, made perfect, man. Herein, this is how our love is made perfect. Read. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Now, we ain't supposed to fear, man. We all have what? Boldness in the day of judgment. So when you see the ICPK coming up, man, you understand in Birmingham, in in, in, in Brixton High Street, you understand? Come. In Manchester, you understand what? Uh, boldness in the day of judgment. We've got to come out with boldness in the day of judgment, man. Right. Read that again from the top, Salaki. So Herein is our love made perfect. This is how our love is made perfect, right? Read. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. We got to have boldness in the day. We're giving our judgment. In the terms of not putting people to death, right? We ain't giving that judgment. But what we're saying, we're reading the Lord, the laws of the Lord, and we're telling the, the, our people what the law, what the Lord is gonna do if they don't change, if they don't repent. You understand? Right. We're giving out that judgment. The Lord is coming back with fire, man, with vengeance. You understand? Coming back with a sword. He's coming back with two million angels. You understand? And that's what we're telling the people. So you need to repent before the Lord comes. Otherwise. Uh, and so we're giving them the Lord's judgment, man. What is gonna do? What is gonna do to us if we don't con stay in this truth, man? What is gonna do to our people if they don't repent and change and come up in the ICP game? Right. Read that. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Mm. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. There's no fear in love. If you love the Lord, you won't fear the heathens, man. Right. If you love the Lord, you will not fear the oppressor. That's right. You understand? That's what it's talking about. You'll fear the Lord because you love the Lord. Calm. You will not fear the oppressor. You understand? Right. Because uh, what? Because But perfect love casteth out fear. Perfect love, man. You loving the Lord perfectly, that cast out the fear of the heat of the oppressor, man. Right. You understand? That cast out the fear of you not wanting to repent, man. Calm. That's what that does, man. Read on. Because fear has torment. Because guess what, man? You, you're in Christian. You're in the Christian church. Cause they fear. They fear their oppressor, man. Right. And guess what they have in there, man? Torment, man. God. That harlot house has torment, man. Pastor pork chop has torment, man. And that's what's really going on in there, man. You understand? They're living in sin and in a lie. They they already said they're saved. Remember that, man. They're already saved, man, in the blood right. of Jesus, according to them, man. But guess what? They ain't got perfect love, man. Come. They fear the oppressor and they teach for a higher reader. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. He that, if you fear, you, you're not perfect in love. You can't teach, you cannot lead the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You cannot wake up, Salakia, the lost sheep of, his, of the house of Israel to lead them, man, if right. you have fear, man. All right? And guess what? If you learn in a theologian school, you cannot teach the children of Israel who their God is, who their Christ is, who their leader is. You can't teach them anything uh, to do with their, their people, man. Because they have fear. They've not got perfect love, man. God. You understand? That's why they allow two men in, to, to, to get married in the churches, man. Can't, can't do that up in the ICPK, man. Well, that's right. Can't do that in the home of the truth. You understand? A woman can't have uh, sleep with from a man and jump to a next man and to a next man 
and, 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 and that's cool. Nah, man, not up in here. Right. You understand? You can't do that in here, man. That's a Christian church down the block. Across the road over there, man. You understand? But not, not in the ICPK, man. You, is that it? Man? Right. You understand? First Peter chapter 3, verse 12. First Peter 3, verse 12 to 14, Baba Kasha, right? Come on, come. Perfect love cast about fear, man. You understand? Right. The love of the Lord is perfect, man. Converting the soul, man. That will cast out fear, man. Read that. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. The eyes of the Lord is watching the righteous, is protecting the righteous. There's angels around us protecting the righteous. Read in the ICPK. Read on. And his ears are open unto their prayers. His ears hears their prayers. You understand? And there's a scripture, but I'm going to paraphrase it. Uh, the Lord heareth not sinners, man. Kai. Somewhere in John. John. Oh, I can't remember. It's like here, but yeah, paraphrasing it, man. The Lord heareth not sinners, man. Right. But the Lord's what? But uh, the, uh, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. He's watching over the righteous, protecting them, just like an eagle that stirreth up her young and watches over her young. That's what the Lord is doing. That's why his eyes are over the righteous. Read on. And his ears are open unto their prayers. And he hears that. He hears our prayers, man. Read on. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The Lord is against who? Against them that do evil. You better overcome your fear and repent and get into the ICPK. That's the right. Lord is against them that do evil, man. And you know what's funny? They don't consider that they do evil. Paraphrasing once again, they are. It said the people don't. Con they don't even. Uh, Salaki. Like they don't even understand that they do evil, man. Right. They don't even know that they're doing wickedness, man. Read on. And who is he that will harm you, if ye be followers of that which is good? So who's gonna hurt you if you follow that which is good? Read on. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake. But, and if. It happens, can do, read on. Happy are ye. Happy are ye, man. You, you know what blacks, Hispanics and native Indians, we've been suffering for the longest time. Man. Right. But guess what, we're still happy though. We still find time to be happy, man. And now in our persecution still, man. You know what I mean? Up in the ICPK, we still find time to be happy, man. That's right. You understand? We teach this word, our people hate us. The, uh, the heathens hate us, same way. You understand? But we still find time to be happy. You know why? Because we got the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. And we know that the most High loves us, man. That's what we know, man. All right, read on. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. The Lord said, don't be afraid of their terror and don't be troubled from them, man. Right. Don't be scared of them and don't be troubled. Why? Because they're pointless. They're actually pointless. And once you start to understand this, you'll realize, man, that the Lord ain't even with them. God. He lifted them up. Only he's going to crush them in a minute, man. That's right. He lifted them up for a minute and he's going to crush them in the end, man. That's what the Lord is doing. Just like he raised up Pharaoh and he smashed Pharaoh to pieces against them rocks in the sea, man. And that's what he's going to do to the oppressors in these last days. Just the same reader. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Means clean, uh, um, pray to the Most High in your hearts, man. Clean up your mind and, and, and in your hearts, you understand? Sanctify the Lord. Sanctify means to be clean. You understand? Clean up the Lord or the mind or the understanding of the Lord in your hearts, man. Read on. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you right. with meekness and fear. So while you're talking to brothers or sisters, man, you got to have meekness and fear uh, when you're giving them an answer if they ask you, uh, if they ask you uh, uh, about anything, man. You understand? And if you don't know there and then, you go back to uh, you go back to the teacher, go back to the captain. You understand? And you speak to the captain, get the answer, and then you come back to them. Man. That's right. how we do it. We don't give our own understanding in the school, man, because everybody's got to be saying those the same one accord, man. We're on one accord. You understand? And there's a rank rank order and structure in the school, man. And that's how Christ. Uh, uh, that's how the kingdom of heaven is, man. Right. You understand? There's order. And that's where the earth, the earth is out of order, man. Out of sync, out of order, man. It's crazy. And it's only in the ICPK you see this order, man. And, and you know, I notice a lot of people don't want to join it. Why? Don't want to come in here. Why? Because they're just scared, they're scared, man. And that's what behooves us that we do this class, man. Overcoming the fear of repentance, man. Yeah. You need to overcome that fear in order to be able to step foot in here, man. You understand? And you've got to make that move, man. 
Change is as good as a rest, man. It's the best thing you can do. Read on. Having a good conscience, that whereas that whereas they that speak evil of you as of evil doers. You have they, a good conscience. They that speak evil of you as if you're evil, but you're not. Right. They're speaking evil of you as if you're evil. That's what they're doing in RCPK, man. You guys are a hate group. Da, 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 whatever they want to say, man. They're speaking evil of us as if we're evil, reader. God. That, uh, it's like it. They may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. They're false accusers, man. We're good conversation. When you hear this Bible coming out when we're on the high street and when we're in, when we're in these classes, man, and you hear these words coming out, uh, uh, this is, read that again, the last bit there, the favor. Uh, that they may, uh, it's like it. That they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation. Good in conversation, Christ. man. We're speaking about Christ, man, the black Messiah, man. That's good conversation. Right. Who wouldn't want to hear that if you're a black, Hispanic, and native Indian, man? The 12 tribes of Israel. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to hear that? Christ died for you, man. You've got to be out of your mind if you don't want to hear that. Read on. Uh, it's like it. For it is better if the will of God be so. That ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. It's better you suffer for doing well than doing evil, man. All right. So yeah, they can hate right. what they want, man. It's better if you suffer for for them for doing well, man. Right. Then suffer like how they're gonna suffer for continuing their wickedness, man. Right. If they don't overcome their fear and repent, man. Um. So like, is that to eighteen? Verse eighteen now. Right. For Christ also has once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust. Christ, it's lucky. Christ also suffered for sins, man. Right. The just suffered. That's Christ, man. For the unjust, man. God. The Israelites should have well been destroyed, but guess what? Christ, which is the just, suffered on the cross for the unjust, man. He suffered for the twelve tribes of Israel for all sin and fall short of the glory, man, of the kingdom, man, of ruling over every nation on the planet. That's what we fell short of, and Christ died on the cross. Uh, being what? Being the what? Righteous? The just for the being unjust. Being the just, man. Christ was the just and he died for the 12 tribes of Israel, which is the unjust reader. That he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Right, that, so he put, it's like you read that again, but slowly, slowly. slowly. Oh, that he might bring us to God. That he might bring what? Bring us to God. That's why I died on the cross, man. He's the just, he died for the unjust, that he might what? Bring us to God. For us to repent. He bring us to God, reader. Being put to death and, and, in the and, flesh. And like, yeah, when, when we repent, we, we, we keep the laws, statutes, and commandments and have the faith in, in Yahweh Shah. We have the faith in Christ, the black Messiah. Read that again, Brother Kisha. Being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Now, he was put to death in the flesh, man, but he was quickened by the Spirit. He rose again, man. You understand? And likewise, even us, we we being put to death in the flesh also, meaning what? Things we used to do, what the world does, we don't do that. We've we've killed that old man. We've put to death the flesh, God. and we've been quickened in the spirit. That's why we're here teaching and uh, uh, teaching these words, man. In the ISUPK, you understand, in the home of the truth, man. That's why we're teaching this word. Why? Because we've put that to death. We don't do Christmas no Christmas no more. Why? Because we put that to death. We killed the spirit of Christmas, man. When right. we came in this in this school, man, and even it's like before we came into this school, even we killed the spirit of Christmas, man. You understand, reader? That's right, man. We killed the spirit of what else? It's the spirit of Thanksgiving. We killed the spirit of Easter. You understand? We killed the spirit of birthdays and uh, you name it, man. We All them witchcraft garbage and philosophies that they have in the world today. When we come up in the ICPK, when we come up in the school, we killed the spirit right. of wickedness and witchcraft, man. We killed the spirit of Christianity. <sighs> that is a spirit of crack cocaine. We killed the spirit of Christianity when we walked up in the school, man. How about that? Right. You understand? We killed that spirit, man. All right. Being weak, that weak mentality that Christianity puts on the black man and the, uh, and, and elevate the black woman over the black man and all that—that's just white supremacy, man. Cool. We killed that spirit, man. And what did we do? We, what's the last bit of that? Baba Kishia. For Christ also suffered for our sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Well, we quickened by the Spirit, man. We, we up in here teaching the Spirit and Word of the Lord, man. Right. Or the Word of the Lord in Spirit and in truth, man. You understand? 
You're quicker than a sprinter. Alright? Go on, yeah. Exodus chapter 14 uh, verse 13 the book of Exodus 14. chapter 14 verse 13 and Moses said unto the people fear ye not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will shew to you this day for the Egyptians whom ye have seen today ye shall see them again no more forever right there, oh, we'll have to read that from the top Nice and slow. Now watch this. Read on. And Moses said unto the people. Moses said to the children of Israel, that's the people, the twelve tribes of the house of Jacob, twelve families, that's the people. Read what did Moses say? Say ye not. Don't fear. Have a look at these. You see them Egyptians over there? Like we're in the sea. Or it's lucky. We're on the other side of the sea, right? We've both done pass through the sea. Right. Turn, Moses turned around with his rod. The Lord said, stretch forth his rod again over the sea. And, and what did he say? Fear ye not. Don't fear. Fear ye not. Go on. Stand still. Stand still. Be still. And see the salvation of the Lord. And see the salvation of the Most High. And see the salvation. Read on. Which he will shoot you this day. He's going to show you in front of your face today. Read. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today. See them Egyptians that are chasing us. See them Egyptians that you see today. Read on. See them Hamites. See them Africans there? Read on. Ye shall see them again no more you ain't forever. Gonna, come on, you ain't gonna see them no more again. Again. You ain't gonna see them no more again forever. Right. Read on. Meaning, and, and Salakia, you wanna be an Egyptologist, you, listen, that ain't coming back again forever. I understand on. that, man. That, that dead. He can dead that. Read on. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. The Lord's gonna fight for us. And we're gonna be still. We're gonna hold our peace. Right. Meaning, we we don't need to fight right now. We don't even. We just. This is a spiritual warfare. We holding our peace. Read on. That's it. On that. That's it. On that. That's powerful right there. So when the Lord says you shall go back, I'm paraphrasing again, but this is a different topic. But the Lord says you shall go back into Egypt again. Understand that He said the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more again. You ain't gonna see them again. But the Lord said later on, you're gonna go back into Egypt again. So what does that mean? You're going into slavery again. And what took you into slavery? Those slave ships, man. All the way over here into the Americas. You understand? Understand that soul. But that's that's another class. Uh Slacky, where are we up to now? Exodus then. Joshua chapter ten. Slacky, give me Joshua ten and eight. Come on. The book of Joshua chapter ten verse eight. Mm. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. So, right. so <laughs> the Lord says to Joshua, Fear them, don't fear them, fear them not, don't fear them. For what? For I have delivered them into thine hand. They're gonna be yours, man. Right. I'm gonna deliver them into your hands. Do you know all these heathens around here? We don't have to fear them. All these other nations, we don't have to fear them. Because you know you know what the Lord can do? Read that again. I have delivered them into thine hand. The Lord can deliver them into our hands, man. That's right. Understand that. That's why they fear us. And that's why they're trying to destroy us, man. Because the Lord can deliver them into our hands, man. All right? There, there, shall, it, it's like it. there shall not a man of them stand before thee. There what? There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Listen, man. No imams can stand before the ICPK. No, no Christian. No Baptist, Methodist. Episcopalian, Scientologists, Egyptologists, you understand? No, 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 nothing can stand against the word of the Lord, man. That's and right. the ICPK. Nothing can stand against the home of the truth, man. All right? Um, Chronicles 29 17, Baba Gashar. Uh, Chronic Chronicles also, I'm not sure. Go, go to it, Nancy. Uh, go to one first and then let's take it from um, 29 17. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 17. I know also, my God, that thou triest the heart mm. and hast pleasure in of righteousness. As for me, in the uprighteousness of mine heart, I have willingly offered all these things. Mm. Read, read that again slowly, brother. Sure. I know also, my God, that thou triest the heart and hast pleasure in of righteousness. The Lord tries your brightness. Uprightness. The Lord tries your heart, meaning your mind, you understand? The Lord tests you, 
He tests you to see, and that's why he's got all these religions around us. That's why he's got all these philosophies around us. Why? Because you 12 tribes of the children of Jacob, he's, he's testing you. Right. You, you understand? He's testing you. And what he's done is he's allowed uh, Hinduism, he's allowed every nation's religion and false philosophies to be around you. Come to on. do what? To test you, to see if you're going to stand with him or against him, man. Right. Are you going to go and join Muslim and Allah and the Kaaba stone and, and, and Muhammad, another nation? Are you going to go and join the so-called Christian, Christianity and what the, what the white man's religion? The, the way of how he puts his image up there. Not It's not his book. Understand that. The Bible's not his book. But his, his philosophy. Are you going to go and join that, man, with his image? Along with the image of the beast. Are you going to go and join that? Uh, are you going to go and uh, be, a, be a Rastafari? Are you going to go and worship Selassie? Another nation, a heathen? Uh, and all these philosophies around us, the Lord has put it there on purpose, you understand? And they shall be, I'm paraphrasing again, because he did that with us with the Canaanites when we did destroy them, totally destroy them out. So he said, I'm going to leave them like a thorn. They're going to be a thorn in your side. What do you think these heathens are around about us right now? They're a thorn in our side, man. God. That's what they are to us. And and the thorn is something that just irritates you, irritates you 24-7. Why? The Lord put them there to test you, man. To test you, man. Right. Are you going to roll with him or them? That's the question. You understand? But we, we're the ICPK, we men of the Lord. We're rolling with the most high, man. We ain't rolling with no heathen or their gods. Because we ain't going to be subservient to no nation. You understand? Because we're born, we're the children of the free women, man. You understand? We come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right. All right. As for me, in the brightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things. And now have I seen with joy thy people, mm. which are present here, to offer willingly unto thee. See, we see with our people pre up to this present day to offer willingly. See, the brothers and sisters in, in the ICPK, right. we see them daily to offer, so like you read the last bit, to offer peacefully, right? Uh, offer willingly. Top Salakia, so willingly, man. So we offering our praises, our whatever we can do willingly Come. to the most high, man. Unto thee, man. All right, read on. That's it. I'm That's it. Come on, uh, James chapter one verse. Uh, so like here. James uh, one verse two to four. Come on. Come on, come on. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. So our temptations, is, like I said just before, the Lord is testing us when he's got the he these heathens around us. Right. Are you going to serve the Lord? Or are you going to lean to your own understanding and go and do, deal with some idols? You want to dabble with idols, which are no gods? You want to bow to a rock and kiss it? You know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna have some cross around your neck? For whatever reason, that ain't going to help you. With your drug dealing and whatever else you do, you're murdering and you, your child molesting and whatever the hell you're doing, man. Right. You understand? Your wickedness, man. Your adulterous, you 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 uh, committing adultery and all that stuff, man. The Lord ain't gonna be with you with that, man. All right. So that cross ain't gonna help you. That's a molten image. You need to get rid of it. Where it read on. Count it all joy when you fall into thy best temptation. Meaning we're tempted uh, uh, as a test, man. Right. All right, count all joy, read on. Knowing this, that the so, trial... So like, yeah, let me just say this. When we fall into diverse temptation, meaning when we're tested, when things are not really going right for us, man, that's a test of the most time, man. Right. All right, and you know, many people don't have patience. It's hard then to have patience in a, in certain situations, man. Cool. But, uh, it, you know, you have to have patience. You have to, try, you have, to have patience, <laughs> bottom line, right? Count it all joy when you fall into different types of temptations. Read, read on. Knowing this, mm. that the trying of your faith work of patience. So know this, man. This is why it's for, or what it's for. You understand? Know this. Knowing this, that the trying what? The trying of your faith. The trying of your faith is to try your faith. How faithful are you in the most high? And this, when you hear the word, it's a joy, remember. It's a joy when you hear the word of the Lord. So, and you're being tested, and you know the word of the Lord. Guess what, man? You should count it all joy. God. Because you know why you're being tested and, and, and so on and so forth, man. Right. And guess what? Once you get tested, after you come out glorious at the, at the other side, man. That's right. All right? Read on. 
but let patience have her perfect way. But the Lord is trying to make you be patient. The Lord is, 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 is chastising you, buffeting you, as Paul said, right? right? For you to be what? Patient, man. The Lord's trying to make you patient in His way. You understand? Come on. His way. Read on. That ye may be perfect and entire. That's what He's trying to make you. He's buffeting you, is 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 uh, uh, chastising you so you can be. Uh, so like you, that ye may be perfect and entire. To make you perfect and entire, meaning whole, man. Right. Full. <laughs> you understand? Go on. Wanting nothing. Lacking nothing, man. Wanting nothing. You understand? Lacking nothing, meaning like it's like you, you damn near got the kingdom of heaven right here, right now. Come on. Right? Because you understand from here what's 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 next. What's next, man? We die, we go to the spirit, go to the most high, and, it's, and, it, and we come back again. Right. That shows you what? The wicked can't kill us, man. That's right. And as he kills one righteous, the Lord raises up another one, man. God. Like when the, when the, and the, and how do you know, man? That's why you got to go to the Bible, man. That's why it's so beautiful, because what? Uh, Cain killed Abel, man. What happened? Did the Lord leave it there and Cain just run things? Nah, man. Lord banished Cain, man. And he raised him up another seed instead of uh, uh, Seth, instead of Abel, man, which was Seth, man. And that righteous lineage came back into the earth again, man. God. Men began to call on the name of the Lord through the lineage of Seth once again, man. You understand? So that's how the Lord works. He's never going to let the heathen take you out or the wicked take you out and not replace a, a, another brother just like yourself, man. Right. Just like yourself, and another righteous brother is going to stand up in his truth. Man. All right, read, read up with that's that. Man. That's it. Um, was that to Paul? Get me John chapter 15, verse 3 to 4. Follow the show, eh? John chapter 15, verse. Uh, slack here. 3. 3 to 4. Come now ye are clean mm. through the word which I have spoken unto you. How are you clean? Through the word which I have spoken unto uh, you. Get some, get some dirty water somewhere where ducks have been crapping in and fish has been crapping in and dump the person underneath it or take them to a swimming pool with all the chlorine and all the germs and these heathens that have been bathing and swimming in it. Go on. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. You're clean through the word, man. Right. Which the Lord has spoken on from this word of this of the, of the Bible, man. That's how we're clean, man. Read up. Abide in me and I in you. Stay in this word which made you clean. Don't eat pork no more. Right. I don't think you need to be dumped under no water, man. God. You don't eat pork no more, you're clean. Alright? You don't treat your sisters like whores no more. You're clean. Right. You don't take another man's wife and, and, and um, she's not committing adultery and you're not being an adulterer. You're clean, right. all right? Don't smoke weed. You're clean, you understand? You are uh, sober-minded, you understand? You're clean, man. Don't let no hypocrites and all these fools talk crap, man. All right? You're clean through the word, man. Read that again from the top, Baba Kishore. Now, ye are clean through the word, mm. which I have spoken unto you. That's how you're clean, through the word, man. Read on. Abide in me, and I in you. Abide in these words, which this is where Christ is. It's where you find God in Christ. This is the mouthpiece of God in Christ, right here in this Bible. Right. That's what the mouthpiece is. And the word of speak, uh, uh, speak unto you, the spirit of life. Man. Abide in me, read. And I in you. And I will abide in you, man. And that spirit of what? The spirit of the most high in Christ and these words will be in us, you understand? Will be, um, and you read this, it gives you comfort. It secures you. Right. That's the spirit. That's you abiding in, in, in it, man. How do you? You got to study it. You got to read it. You know, meditate the brain, connect, connect the spirit with that spirit, because that's who we are. You understand? Read on. As the branch cannot bear, bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Right. The choice vine, man. That's your how shall Your how shall that vine, man. God. That's the choice vine. You understand? So, the, the, so like you read that again, the branch. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. The, the branch can't bear, you can't just be a branch and bear fruit like, you know what I'm saying? Here's the root. The branch can't just bear fruit without this, man. If you took this bit off, right? Right. Read on. 
Except it abide in the vine. You got to in the vine. Calm. Right. This is the root, right? The choice vine, right? There's the root, man. Christ is the vine. Right. Christ is the vine. And here's the branch, man. You're the branches, man. Right? But you can't do without this, man. This is Christ. Alright, read on. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Right. No more you can't do nothing else without abiding in Christ. Right. That's what it's saying, man. Read that last bit again, no more can. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Right, no more can ye. You can't do no more. You can't do nothing else except you abide in him, man. Alright? I am the vine, ye are the branches. He's the vine, he's the root, he's the vine, the root of Jesse. Right, the vine, uh, uh, yeah, he's the vine also, right? Come on. And you're the branches, man. Come on. He that abideth in me and I in him, mm. the same bringeth forth much fruit. So now if you abide in him and he in you, you'll be like this this kind of this whole thing right here. You're bring, you're gonna bring forth much fruit, man. Right. Right? And your light is gonna shine. And you're gonna bring bring forth much fruit. Read on. For without me ye can do nothing. Without Christ, without the Christ, without the vine, you can't do nothing. Read on. It's like that's it's fine. Come on, it's lucky what we're in. Is, it, is that first John? John chapter. It's lucky. John 15, 3 to 4. To 4. Oh, sorry. Come on. That's it? Oh. Come on. Come on. Right. Uh, first John's 5 and 3. First John 5 and 3 to 5, right? Book of First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is what the love of God is, alright? So if you overcome your fear and, and repent, and you. This is um, this is gonna be what you need to do. You need to love God, man. Right. All right. You overcome your fear. You get, that means you love God now. Come. All right. This is the love of God. Read on. That we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do. They don't. They, you don't get peed off with keeping His commandments, man. You don't start to kiss your teeth and say, "Oh, I got to do that." Oh, look at that pork looking so just Oh, damn, I wish I could just eat a little piece. Mm. You're not going to be like that, man. Right. You look at that and think, that's hell to me. Hell no. Right. <laughs> hell no, man. I know why I don't eat pork, man. Calm. Shrimp, crabs and lobsters. I look at shrimps now and it's like, right, it's, they look disgusting, man. That's right. It's like uh, a bunch of maggots on a plate, man. Calm. Just a bigger version. That's it. It's weird. You know what I mean? That's how you look at it and disdain in a boy. You're a boy, that man. Right. Read that last bit. Read that big bit again, so like it. And his commandments are not grievous. Commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do. That's what it's saying, man. Come. Read on. For he, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatever is born of God overcome Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving, and all those things. You understand? Easter, all that garbage, man. Whatever. Is, read that last. Read that again, so like it. Read For whatsoever is born of God mm. overcometh the world. If you're born of God. That means you've repented, man. It means you've overcome. Your, for you to be born of God, man, that means you've overcome the fear of repentance, man. That means you've repented. You've changed your wicked ways, man. Right. For you to be born of God. Read that again, Baba Kasha. For whatsoever is born of God mm -hmm. overcometh the world. Whatever, whoever is repented overcome the world man it's like right don't do christmas no more now nah, join the icb came and right. brothers i see them teaching and i looked in the bible man and they was right where else would i want i'd rather be man read on and this is the victory that overcometh the world and this is the victory there's victory in him <laughs> right. there's victory in the icp came and there's victory in the school uh, of universal practical knowledge man right all right read on even our faith our faith is what keeps us in this, man. All right. Read. Who is he that overcometh the world, mm. but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? How could you overcome unless you believe Christ is the Son of God, man? God. You've got some Old Testament Israelites that don't believe in Christ, man. You know what? The Jewish man don't believe in Christ, man. You understand? Right. You're just like them. Because hmm. if you ain't got Christ, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got the Father, man. I sent my son to you and you disrespect him. You ain't got me, I'm coming to you, I'm gonna knock your block off me. Right. You know what I mean? I sent him to collect my rent. And you looked at my son and was like, uh <laughs> laughed him to school. He comes back to me and then I come now. It's like, yo, get out of my house, man. I'll take your flipping head off, man. Cool. You know what I mean? So read that again, so lucky, read that last bit again. Who is he that overcometh the world? Yeah. But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. You believe in Christ and keep the Lord's and commandments? 
you're gonna overcome the and, and he that endure unto the end man you'll overcome the world read on that's it that's fine and that's the philosophies of the world man whatever they go and do man Come on. you understand be in the world but not of it don't do what they do man overcome it man alright um what was that that was yeah, that was seven, that? First John, John yeah five. to five yeah Micah the, uh, Micah uh, 4 verse 10 what we can share right come on, come on. Micah chapter 4 and verse 10 be in pain and labour to bring forth O daughter of Zion so you see us in the highways and byways the children of Israel known as the daughter of Zion right alright and we are in the highways and byways uh, labouring in pain man. Oh. Like, a, like a woman when she's giving birth man the pain comes as if we're going to be delivered as if the baby's going to be delivered right and then oh. and then the pain goes away man the, what is it called a, a, a contraction um, contraction contraction oh. right go through them contractions man the pain she's going to be delivered think the baby's coming right it's coming <laughs> right and then bam pain goes away man and then it comes back again bam right right she's like right then it goes away again and the more and then it keeps coming more faster and faster God. you understand it keeps co getting closer and closer the contractions are getting closer and then guess what she gets she delivers man right. and that's how our deliverance from this wicked empire is going to be for the israelites to be saved out of this hellhole uh, uh, uh that's how it's got to be that's how it's going to be man like a woman in travail man God. like a woman that's given birth so we're going to be delivered from from slavery and hell one day man and it's like oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen no it's not yet oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen not yet and then it starts to speed up and then it gets and then finally we get delivered man that's how it's gonna happen read on for uh it's like yeah like a woman in travail mm -hmm. for now shalt thou go forth out of the city and thou shalt dwell in the field and thou shalt go even to babylon right here we are man we're in babylon now man right right the daughter of Babylon, Chaldeans, Excellency, man. That's where we are now, man. All right? Read right. on, even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. And that's where we're going to be delivered. Right here in the Western Hemisphere, man. God. In the, in, the, in, the in the neck of Babylon, man. The daughter of, I'm in the daughter of Babylon, man. That's where we are, man. Right. In the Americas, just so you understand, that's the West Indies, all that's classed as the Americas, man. In the Western Hemisphere, man. That's where we're gonna be delivered from the daughter of Babylon, man. Read on. There, the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. And He's gonna redeem us. Redeem is to, like, um, you know, when they, it's like take you to bring you back. You understand? Correct. To redeem you, to receive you back. And remember, Christ already paid the price with His blood by dying on the cross. So we're going to be received back. That's called repentance. Overcoming your fear of the oppressor from the daughter of Babylon and you'll be delivered, man. Make that change and dial that number at the bottom of the screen and you'll be delivered, man. Right. You understand? He that endureth unto the end. So when you come in here, you got to be fighting to restore yourself, to restore your spirit, to restore the, 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 the knowledge of the most high. You understand? you got to get that under, those understanding and grow. All right? Read on. That's it. Come. Revelation chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 God, we can show. Come, Lord, come. And there approached a great wonder in heaven mm. And it's like your what? And there approached a great wonder in heaven Appeared or approached? It's like your And there appeared a great wonder in heaven mm. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under now, her feet come. Now this ain't talking about up in the sky where the most eye is right? Right. They appeared, read that again, though, because slowly. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Now, I was talking about in the earth, man. Not up there in the sky where the most high is, right? There right. appeared a great wonder in heaven, in this realm. Go on. A woman clothed with the sun. That's the 12 tribe of Israel, clothed with the sun, read. And the moon under her feet. Salakia. Clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Go on, father and mother. And upon her head a crown of 12 stars. So. A, a crown uh, upon her head the crown of 12 stars those 12 stars represent the children of israel right read on and she being with child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered so this is speaking about the israelites our nation
being in travailing and pain to be delivered. What we just read in, what was we read before? In Micah, right? Uh, being in pain and travail to be delivered. That's the a, that's a 12 stars, which are 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And our, fo our forefather's father, which is the son, which is uh, which is a Salaki, which is Israel, right? right? Or Jacob, right? That's the son. And the, this is son and the what? And the moon under her feet. And the moon is the mother, all right, of the Israelites. Read on. Yeah, that's verse two. And that's verse two, right? Uh, and, and paraphrasing it from Joseph's dream, right? When Jacob said, uh, "My what? Shall my shall my your mother and I?" Indeed, and there are twelve, eleven brethren bow down to thee, right? Read on. Um, that's verse. Two. Is it jumping to verse ten? Come, yeah, verse ten. Verse come, come. Just twelve, verse ten to fourteen. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. Uh, now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God and the power of His Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. So he, the, the, the Esau is falling, man. You right. understand? The, the daughter of Babylon is falling. You understand? Now has come the accuser of our brethren, meaning they persecute us every day and night, man. God. You understand? Um, you know, they shoot us down for the fun of it, man. The accuser of our brethren is cast down, man. Right. They're coming down. Read on. Which accused them before our God day and night. They accuse us day and night. They say Christ is a white man. They say the angels are white. All these things that they do is accusing us day and night. They say the Israelites are black in their movies. They play Slavia. They say the Israelites are white. The Jews are white in their movies. Uh, uh, Charles Zestin, whatever he is, plays Christ and all those things. They they accusing us, man. Right. You know you're lazy. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps after they've they've, they've worked the hell out of us and not given us nothing a dime. You understand? They say what? They say what? The accusers what? Which accuse them before our God day and night. They accuse us day and night. Read on. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. By this word of the scriptures right here, this is how we're going to overcome the wicked man. Right. We're going to do thus says the Lord and that's how we're going to overcome the wicked. By the work, by what? By the, by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of Christ down on the cross for the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. What? And by the word of their testimony. And we testify in that through the Holy Scriptures, man. All right, we done. And they love not their lives unto death. And we love not our lives even unto death. You understand? Wicked might kill us one, uh, something, you know, whatever the case is, whenever, whatever happens, man. You right. understand? They love their lives not unto death. Uh, they love their lives, what? And they love not their lives not their unto lives, death. Like, yeah, unto death, man. All right? So we understand in this walk, we could, we could die, man. By the hands of the wicked, you understand. Read up. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, mm. and ye that dwell in them. Rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Go on. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe to us in the earth and of the sea. Mm. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. See these heathens, uh, the top nation that's ruling on the planet. That's the devil, man. Right. And he's come down. Having great wrath, why? Because he's falling, man. God. He recognized that his kingdom is coming to an end now. Right. And he's come down having great wrath, man. He's peed up, man. So he's trying to shoot up the Israelites, the, the, the children of Israel, the real Jews. He's killing them left, right, and center, man. That's what's going on now. You understand? He's um, having great wrath, anger. He's angry, man. He wants to throw more, more of our people in jail and so on and so forth, man. He's having great wrath. He don't know what to do now. <laughs> you understand? His time is right. coming. His time is running out, man. And it's like, right, uh, more of that. Um, it's, like, <laughs> um, it's like, you know, whatever, whatever he can do to kill us off. Right? Come Go on. on. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Because he knows his time is short. His rulership is running out. He knows that time is short for him to rule any moment. So he'll do anything now. Right. Read on. And the, and when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth. When he saw that he's gonna lose his power, they've been in power for a while now. Good, but since 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 the Romans, man, since Alexander the Greek, man, right. Alexander the so-called Greek. Since that time, they've been in power, man. But he knows now in these last days, 2021, and going further whenever the Lord is decide decides. You understand? 
He knows he's got a little bit of short time. And what was he just read then? When the dragon saw that, he... Exactly. When the dragon saw that he was cast up, cast onto the earth. Can he see the 12 tribes of Israel rising up now in these last days? He's seeing the scriptures like, rah, this is happening. And he see that he's about to go. He's going down, right? And he's seeing that he's going to be casted out. He's cast, he's cast out. He can oh. see that. He knows. He persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. He persecuted the children of Israel, man. And this right. is twofold because going into also when Christ was delivered by, by Mary and Joseph, right? That and they had to run from Herod into Egypt, man. Christ. They had to flee from the, the Idum the Edomite Idumian Herod man, which is an Edomite. Right? And they had to run into Egypt. That's a twofold, which is us also now in these last days, uh, uh fleeing from the serpent. Right. Still today, man. That's us now as the 12 tribes also fleeing from the serpent, man. All right? Cool. Read on. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, mm. that she might fly into the wilderness. So we're, we're, we're in the wilderness right now. The Israelites are in the wilderness right now. Read on. Into her place, mm -hmm. where she is nourished for a time and times and so half a time. For a time and times, 100 year, uh, years and then times 200 years alright and half that's, a time that's, like, yeah, that's 300 years and half a time 350 years right Car. read on from the face of the serpent from the face of now that doesn't mean we're not right in amongst it it just means what <clears throat> we're just in a in a in a position you understand in the, we're still in the earth but we're in a position just like being in the world but be, be in the world but not of it it's right. kind of like that. We're nourished still. You understand? We're still here, meaning we're not going to be destroyed. We're not going to be totally wiped out. Cool. You understand? You ain't going to be able to wipe us out. We're still here, being nourished. We got his uh, last hired, first fired position. We got the crumbs that fall from the slave master's table. You understand? We're still here, being nourished. For time and times and half a time, 350 years period of time of, from slavery till now. Read on. From the face of the serpent. Mm. That's 14. God, 14. From the, face, right, from the face of the serpent. So we nourished from the face of the serpent. Uh, Maccabees chapter 2. Uh, on this, we're going to end on, on this one. <coughs> First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 14. Uh, 9 to 68 I can't let the one come mm. uh, this mercy book verse 49 now when the time drew near that Mattathias should die mm. he said unto his sons now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength and the time so, so when the time came for Mattathias Mattathias is Judah Ju Judah Maccabeus died right the time came for Mattathias to die uh, what did he do when his time came for him to die? He said unto his sons. This is what he said to his sons. Read on. Now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength. Pride and rebuke because the heathens was ruling over them. Man. And the wicked Israelites that also joined with the heathens. You understand? Right. Pride and rebuke has become strong now. Cool. Just like today in 2021, man. Pride and rebuke is, is here right now, man. That's right. Wickedness is strong right, right now, man. Pride and rebuke has gotten stronger. All right, read on. And the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. And time of destruction and wrath of indignation. It's like a wrath of indignation, read on. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. Now my sons, be zealous for the law, man. Keep the right. laws of the most high, man. Right? Christ. Be ye zealous for the law. You understand? And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. And give the lives, give your lives, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers, man. That's what the Bible says. That's what Matthias is telling his sons to do, man. Right. You understand? Now, what does it take? What kind of man does it take to tell your son, listen, do not give up the laws of your forefathers and the ways of your forefathers, man, even unto death, man. Christ. You understand? Read up, read up for our bond. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. Call to remembrance what our fathers did when that they when they acted, man. 
Right. Call to remembrance. Think about how they acted in their time. Did uh, they give up? Did they say, oh, we're going to join with your Christmas trees and your Thanksgiving and we're going to join with your philosophy? Did they give up? Nah, man. Uh, they was fighting. They're wicked, man. They did right. not do what the wicked did, man. Right. Call to that act, man. Look to that act, man. Look at what they did, man. Read on. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. And that's how you're going to receive great honor and an honor, everlasting name, a name that's going to last with you forever, man. Come on. You understand? You won't be forgotten, man. Understand that. Right. If you fight this fight, what the Lord is calling you to fight, you won't be forgotten, man. Read on. Just get in Salakia. Guess what, man? Isaiah, even the heathens know about Isaiah. Right. Jeremiah, even the heathens, every single nation know about the prophets in this Bible, man. In this Bible, man. God. Every single nation on the face of the earth wish they that Isaiah and Jeremiah and Obadiah and Zechariah and uh, Habakkuk and all those brothers and uh, brothers in the scriptures, man. They wish that they would that was their people, man. Right. They wish that was their people. They read about it so much, but guess what? They can't connect with their spirit. They can't connect with their spirit, man. That's right. That's not their brothers. That's our brothers, man. That's blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's your brothers and sisters. That's like your brothers, brothers in, in the scriptures, man. They can't connect with that, man. Their spirit do not bear witness with the spirit of the Lord, man. Come read up, read up. Was show. not Abraham found faithful in temptation? So read up from the top again, so lucky. Okay, so like, yeah. no, read on, please. Right, right. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation? Abraham was found faithful in temptation, read. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And let me just go back on Abraham. Abraham was found faithful in temptation, meaning what? Abraham was, he had one son, man, sent Ishmael away, he sent that little Egyptian one made son away, and his mom. And what? The Lord said, Take Isaac, man, your one son now, your only son. And, and, and sacrifice him to me, man. He was he was what in temptation, Abraham was found faithful. And he was found faithful. And the Lord says, Hey, I know you're gonna do what I said. He was gonna kill his son, man. Right. But the Lord said, No. Oh. The Lord weren't gonna let him go through with it. God. Lord already had a backup plan, which is standard. He was just testing Abraham. He said that and and if you understand the Bible, it says that it did come to pass, you understand? Right. When the Lord did that the Lord did tempt Abraham came to a pass it came to there was a time and the lord tested abraham and said you know what i'm gonna test that i'm gonna test abraham man. i'm gonna see if abraham's gonna do what i say or abraham's gonna be wavering or thinking about i'm gonna test abraham man. Oh. that's what the lord did and the lord told abraham what to do take your son and sacrifice i'll offer him to me as a sacrifice man all right but the lord yeah. wasn't gonna make him kill his son are you crazy nah but he's testing him what well, abraham would have done it Right. But the Lord just tested him. Read on. Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Joseph, in the time of his distress, Joseph was in Egypt as a, as a slave man. Right. And so in his time of distress, that's the term. Joseph, in the time of his distress, man, he was in Egypt. And guess what? In the time of his distress, the Lord rose Joseph up. Come the Lord had, had Pharaoh. Had faith, had, had, the Lord put it into Pharaoh that he would have favor on jo Joseph. Man. Right. Read it. Read that again. That bit. Joseph, in the time of his distress, mm. kept the commandment. And Joseph did. Why can't you do it, man? Read on. Right. I was made Lord. So like and Joseph did it in the time of distress. Why can't you do it, man? Read on. I was made Lord of Egypt. And he was made what? Lord of Egypt. He was the governor of Egypt, man. The prince of Egypt, man. There's an uh, um, uh, animation um, film out on the Prince of Egypt. That was that's Joseph, man. You're reading about him, right? Here. Right. That's our forefathers, man. Read. Phineas, our father, in being zealous. Phineas, man. Phineas, man. Read. In being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant. He was and he was zealous and fervent. He kept. You know what he wanted in the spirit of the Lord, and he went and got it, man. Read. Obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. And he he got the covenant of an what? Of an everlasting priesthood. He, he got the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, man. Read on. Uh, Jesus, which is Joshua. Mm. For fulfilling the word was made a judge in Israel. Jesus was made a judge fulfilling, fulfilling the, for fulfilling the word, man. Right. He was made a judge in Israel, so he was judging the people, man. Come on. All right? 
Re- I'm not sure if that's Yahweh Shai, meaning the Messiah. I don't think that was Messiah. It's a different Jesus. Read up. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. Right, so Joshua and Caleb, right? But this is Caleb here, man. Uh, and Joshua and Caleb was the only two that made it out of Egypt and actually went into the land of Israel, man. Cool. Only those two that survived out of that generation of people. Joshua and Caleb. And Caleb got what? Inheritance in the land? Is that right? Received the heritage of the land. He received the heritage. He got inheritance. Read on. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. King David has got the throne of an everlasting kingdom, man. Read on. Elias, for being zealous and fervent for the law. Elias, Elijah, for being fervent and zealous for the law, man. Was taken up into heaven. He was taken up. Alright, read on. Ananias, Azarias, and Mizael. Ananias, Azarias, and Mizael, or Mishael, which are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Read on. In right. the heathen names, right. this this uh, apocrypha is given the right name, which is their Hebrew names. Go on. Uh, by believing, were saved out of the flame. By believing the Most High, they were they they the, 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 the heathen king Nebuchadnezzar, I believe. Yeah, Nebuchadnezzar. He threw them in the fire, man. And he cranked up the heat, man, turned it up. And the angel of the Lord protected them in the fire and they didn't get burned. Man. Cool. And he opened the door and went in and he got burned up, man. Fire just went pushed out and read on. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. They tried to throw Daniel in the hungry lions den, man. Cool. They tried to feed Daniel to the lions, them hungry lions, man. And what? The lion didn't eat him though. Right. He was saved from the mouth of the lion. Man. That's right. I heard a thing saying, oh, because Daniel was always with lions and he tamed the lions and so that's how these lions have eaten. him. Listen, that was the angel of the Lord that stopped the lion's mouth. Right. All right. People will come out with all kinds of philosophies on, on, on to, just to, to be able to sin against the, the most high or to try and make this untrue, man. Right. They say weed was found on King Solomon's grave and herb is this and herb is so makes you now you can smoke. Solomon didn't smoke no weed, man. That's right. How about that? Christ didn't smoke no weed, man. Come. I'm gonna hit the rasters with something. Selassie didn't smoke no he's a heathen, but Selassie didn't smoke no weed, man. Right. Read on. Uh slack your and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none put their trust in him shall be overcome. Slack your that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. If you put your trust in the Most High and your Shai, Christ, you ain't going to be overcome, man. That's right. You understand? You ain't going to be overcome. You'll, you'll have favor, man. Come. The Lord will put the Spirit upon the heathens to have favor, man. To, to, to have favor on you, man. Right. You, you can have, he can elevate you to a high position. Don't abuse it by thinking, oh, he did it, and you're going to love the oppressor because he's putting you in a high position. No. The Lord is allowing him to put you in a high position so you can turn around and help your brothers and sisters. Right. And that's why the Lord do these things, man. That's right. And we fail to realize, you understand? Read on. Fear not then the word of a sinful man, for his glory shall be dung and worms. Don't fear the, the what of a sinful man? The words. Don't don't fear the word of a sinful. He's a fool. Don't fear the words of a sinful man. He's, he's, he just loves the wickedness he's in. He loves to sin. You understand? He loves to do evil. He loves to hate his brother. He loves to, um, uh, you know, have that self-hate, man. Right. You understand? He loves to be unrighteous. <laughs> Let's put it like that too, man. All right, read on. Today he shall be lifted up. Right. You see him today and he's nice and high. Everything's going good. He's got dough. All right. right. Read on. And tomorrow he shall not be found. And you can't see him tomorrow, man. You understand? And it's not literal like today and tomorrow. It can be sometimes. It depends God. what the Lord says, man. You understand? But, you know, it, it could be rolling for five years, six years, seven, ten years, whatever, man. But one day, you ain't going to see him no more. One day, the same thing he's doing is going to return on his own head, man. Right. You understand? Because the Lord's going to judge him now. Because his 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 grace period is run out, man. God. He just let his grace run out, man. I read on. Because he has returned into his dust. He returned, Salakia, was it? Salakia, because he's returned into his dust now, he's dead, man. Right. You understand? He's no more, man. So he rose up when he was powerful, and, then, and now he's dead, man. Just like Pharaoh in ancient Egypt, man. 
Pharaoh rose up. Pharaoh's the king of Egypt. He, he saw himself as God and all that. And he's like, you don't need to go and worship your God. Who's that God? What God are you talking about? I'm your God, man. That's what Pharaoh will say. And what? He rose up. He was so powerful. Where is he now? The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more again. Man. That's where he is. He's in his dust, man. He's in the dust. That's right. All right? And same with these Edomites, what you're seeing around us. One day, they're going to be in the dust too, man. Right. right. I'm paraphrasing again, man. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon, come down and sit in the dust, man. That's where it's going to be one day, my reader. And his thought is come to nothing. And his thoughts what? And his thought is come to nothing. Because that's what it really, when you when you go into it as well, that's that's a part of it, right? It's thoughts, man. When you got righteous thoughts, that righteousness continue on. When you got evil thoughts, it comes to nothing, man. Right. Comes to it perish, the wicked shall perish, so you understand that. <laughs> Wickedness is you dwelling in wicked, you're gonna perish, man. They think they get away with it and the Lord's gonna punish their backside. You're gonna perish, man. That's what's gonna happen, man. God. The heathens have not got away with what they've done to the black Hispanics and Native Indians for four hundred years. Right. That ain't gonna the Lord ain't gonna let that slide, man. I think that's what the problem is. They've they've not seen the, the anger of the Lord, they've not seen the Lord's not punished the heathens. The Lord's not punished the oppressors yet. How about hearing that for a change? Right. The Christian pastors can't tell you that, man. The Lord ain't punished the oppressors yet, man. But when he gets his hands on him, you understand? He, he, he's going to be... It's going to be a sad day for him, man. That's right. He's going to wish he never... And this, I believe the scripture tell you... He's going to wish he never laid hands on God's chosen people, man. God. He's going to wish he never laid hands on the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Jacob, man, the blacks, Hispanics, and the native, native Indians, man. He's going to wish he never even sighted us, man. Right. He's going to wish he saw us and just went like that, just walked away, man. That's what he's going to wish. Read on. Wherefore, ye, my son, be valiant, and shew yourselves men in the behalf of the Lord. Speaking to his sons, man, Matthias, right? And he's saying, be valiant, my sons. And what? And shew yourselves men. Show yourselves men, man. How? In the behalf of the law. How, in the what? In the behalf of the law. On the law, man. You got to keep, show yourself man. You got to keep the laws of the Lord, man. That's right. Otherwise, you're just a heathen, man. God. You're just like another oppressor. You just, if you're not like uh, uh, keeping God's laws and love your neighbor as yourself, you're just like a heathen, man. Right. You're an oppressor. You're oppressing your own people, man. You're one of them wicked Israelites that sold out. You sold Christ for 30 pieces of silver. You sold out to the Romans. You went and joined their ways and you loved it, man. God. That's you, man. But I pray that you don't be like that, man. You understand? Just repent, man. I don't fear the heathen. Just repent and read that. Show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. For by it ye shall obtain glory. Show yourselves like a man in the behalf of the law. For by it, what? Ye shall obtain glory. You're going to get glory. But by you keeping these laws and statutes and commandments, man, you don't even know what you're going to get. You're going to obtain what? Obtain glory. Tell them one more time what they're going to obtain. Ye shall, shall ye obtain glory. You obtain glory, man. Keep these laws, you will obtain glory, man. God. Do you understand? Christian church has never taught us those things. They can't because they're the oppressors. They got the oppressors too to oppress you. So they, they ain't going to teach you uplift, man. They ain't right. going to raise your spirit, man. Do you understand? They ain't going to teach you the truth in the word of the Lord, man. They ain't going to tell you you're the greatest people on the face of the earth, man. God. Yeah, they just can't do it, man. But you're going to obtain mercy if you keep these laws down to command us, though. Right, read. And behold... I know that your brother Simon is a man of counsel. Yes, and Simon's a counselor. You understand? So, Mark, I think he's going to tell you anyway. So, like, Simon's a counselor, man. Go to him. If you got any deeds, go to him, man. Give ear unto him always. He like you, like you. And just like uh, the captain, uh, Parashi, in our school, man. You understand? Now, as if in, in the UK, man, he's our counselor. Right. You understand? In this time also, you understand? Just so you know, man. Read. Give ear unto him always. Mm -hmm. He shall be a father unto you. So he's like a father to us, man. You understand? God. That's how the Lord said, oh, read on. As for Judas Maccabeus, mm -hmm. he had been mighty and strong. Even God, you see Judas now? That's your brother, brother Sam, Simon's brother and so on and so forth. He's God. been what? Mighty and strong. He's the strong one. He's the mighty one. That, that Simon's a counselor. Listen to him and he can counsel you. You see, you see uh, Judas... Mighty and strong reader. Even, <laughs> even from his youth up, 
From his youth up, he's been mighty and strong leader. Let him be your captain and fight the battle of the people. Mm. Let him be the captain and fight the battle of the people, Reed. Take also unto you all those that observe the law. All those that keep the laws and, 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 and want to keep the laws and so on and so forth. Take them, Reed. And avenge ye the wrong of your people. Avenge the wrong, man. You see all the wickedness that the heathens of. See, this is not Christian. It's just, just show you right there. This ain't Christianity, man. That's right. Tell your pastor to read that, man. God. For a change. You know what I mean? Tell him to be a man and, and keep the laws, man. Right. Alright? Um, But read that again, Baba Kushar, last bit. Take also unto you all those that observe the law. Mm. And avenge ye the wrong of your people. Avenge the wrong of your people. That, that's what I'm looking for. Avenge the wrong of your people, man. Right. Christianity says it's not good to avenge the wrong of your people. No, avenge the wrong of your people. That's what the Bible says, man. God. What book are you reading, man? You're supposed to avenge the wrong of your people. Read on. Recompense fully the heathen. No, no, ha. Give them a little bit. Recompense fully the heathen. Just give them one cup. Recompense fully the heathen. The heathens filled... One said the uh, the oppressor filled one cup to us. Do they what? Recompense fully the heathen. The Bible says double her portion, double unto her man. Ah. Recompense fully the heathen. Read on. And take heed to the commandments of the law. Keep the commandments, man. Take heed. Make sure you're keeping that. That's you understand? right. Because that's what's going to protect you, man. Is that is that uh, 68? Card or card? Right. Oh, sweat. And that's the class, man. You understand? Ah. So um, without further. Ooh, yes, if you wanna. The ICPK security announcements. We are the ICPK started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Johanna. Rule for a new brother and sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After this six month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithes, which is a commandment. Numbers chapter 18 verse 21, Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 to 10, means tenth in the Hebrew, Ma'ashara. 10% of every penny of, every, of any increase the Lord gives you. Give to the treasury department or the teacher. Priest fund, a free will offering for the priest, not mandatory. Whatsoever amount you would like. Upcoming, upcoming Holy Convocations is a feast of Purim, uh, which I believe is the 25th and 26th of February. That's right. Khan and Khan. Um, all Akim and Akworth, check the bulletin board in the hallway. And if anyone wants to be a trooper in the school, start wearing all black, boots, shirt, pants, headbands, and scarf. And with that, I'm Mardian. <laughs>